Hi, my name is Leo Drager, and I want to welcome you to the ultimate penetration tester course. So I'm going to give you guys some free resources here uh, on my website, thecodeoflearning.com. You can get to this page simply by going to self-study courses and selecting CEH getting started. And then I'll take you right here. All you have to do is enter in your email address and I'll send you a handful of uh, free resources that you'll love if you're studying certification um, related to penetration testing or ethical hacking. So one of the things that you're going to want is the CEH study checklist, a copy of the mind maps. I always give out a couple of those free just by clicking on this link right here. And you also get to try my online classroom for free. So let's go ahead and jump into some of the challenges with learning uh, certified ethical hacking because even someone who's taken a five-day boot camp the problem is is that they're likely not going to remember all of the stuff that they did in five days they certainly aren't going to have their skills fresh in a hands-on fashion uh, to basically be able to do this stuff for a living so I want to address some of those problems and show you how I use mind maps as a solution for that so don't forget to stick around to the end of the video because uh, you're gonna to want to get some of the free resources that I have um, to give you just for basically watching this video so first let's cover the domains of ethical hacking the first traditional model is basically an introduction to ethical hacking then we go into footprinting then we go into scanning networks once we know what our targets are then we go into give me more which is what enumeration is always about and then we go into system hacking this is a very uh, rigid process step one two three four five if you're gonna learn to hack systems you can't skip this stuff you have to learn the landscape footprint networks find out what you want to hack uh, basically scan for them, find the live systems, the ones that they give you a response, then enumerate the vulnerabilities or weaknesses on those systems, and then the hack actually comes. So this is the core of any ethical hacking or penetration testing course. Now everything else is basically a la carte. In other words, you can do these in any order that you want. So what we did differently is instead of having one course for penetration testing, we effectively have 20 separate courses to really take each one of these subjects and just go absolutely into as much detail as possible and some of that is what I'm actually highlighting here now so once you get the basics of the first five steps of hacking then you can go into Trojans and backdoors uh, how to create viruses and worms which is a lot easier than a lot of people think the benefits of sniffing traffic and advanced sniffing techniques these this would be specific interest to anybody who's in you know the firewall role or the intrusion detection world you have social engineering and why that's such a uh, a big challenge in today's world uh, the social engineering toolkit has really just changed the landscape of, of how social engineering attacks happen then you have denial of service you know the rule of thumb here is if you can't beat them knock them offline then you can hijack sessions this is uh, specific advanced techniques for letting someone else do all of the hard work like authenticate and then you just take over their authenticated session then we go into web servers and web applications this in itself could be a six month course in itself uh, there's a lot of information to learn the landscape and really to become an expert in hacking web applications and footprinting them and the only frankly the only way I can even keep my uh, head around all, all of the advanced stuff in these sections is to basically use mind maps because there are literally uh, you know 25 mind maps that I have just for hacking web applications then the advanced subject of SQL injection and taking advantage of databases then you have wireless networks uh, which basically stems right into mobile platforms this in itself hacking a mobile they traditionally are their own courses as well and then the part that everybody seems to forget evading firewalls intrusion detection and prevention systems and honeypots you know if you notice here uh, I have some numbers at the end of these sections you're probably wondering uh, about those those are the the current question counts that I that I actually have for the number of test questions uh, practice test questions 
that I have to test you on that from the point of view of uh, real world scenarios and hands on. So if you can answer my um, test questions, you absolutely should be prepared for any of the other uh, certification tracks out there like the OCSP or even the Certified Ethical Hacker. After evasion intrusion detection systems, then we can go into some of the cloud concepts. As you may know, there are several cloud certifications out there like CompTIA's and ISC Squared's. And then traditionally cryptography, which most people are, are historically bad at. Um, I will take you into cryptography, not only from a hands-on point of view, like from the point of view of a penetration tester and ethical hacking, um, but also this cryptography course in, in my course is beyond what you would need for any other certification like CASP or CompTIA Security Plus or even CISSP or even CISM, CISA type stuff. Um, because I cover cryptography in its own basically course in itself. And then of course penetration testing roadmaps. Now some of the differences in the CEH version 9 exam is the hacking laws specifically has been suppressed. The Google hacking, we still have that and we still cover it because I think that's essential. But technically that's been removed from the CEH version 9. The same thing with physical security, web-based password cracking and getting access to web resources through password cracking or tricking people into giving up their passwords. Uh, same thing with hacking email accounts, phishing uh, attempts, and using software to create phishing scams and phishing attempts and how to identify them and what are the proper countermeasures. But also we cover Linux hacking and buffer overflows. Buffer overflows has also been removed within the CEH version 9. So what's different between us and everybody else is not only are we backward compatible uh, for everybody else's course, but we actually spend the time with you so to learn your hands-on skills. Because it's no longer good enough to say that you're you know, certified as an ethical hacker or a penetration tester. You actually have to be able to walk the walk. And that's done through basically hands-on um, hands on instruction, right? You have to learn it in a hands-on way so that you can actually do this stuff. Also in our course, we prepare you to actually work as a consultant. I will show you how you can find freelance jobs and actually get paid to earn and learn at the same time. And that's something that nobody else's course is going to cover. How to, how to actually make a living, um, as I have for the last 15 years, doing certified ethical hacking and penetration testing. Uh, also, why we're doing what we're doing, right? This is a critical component because you have to understand why hackers do the things that they do, right? And so it's not just all of these 20 modules here, but you have to understand why are you doing scanning? Why are you evading an IDS? Why are you running an Nmap Christmas tree scan, right? If you don't understand that, then it's basically water under a bridge in terms of what you can do for your employers or potential clients. Also, what we do extremely different than anybody else is uh, out of the almost 100 times that I've taught the CEH and penetration testing classes, we track everything that the student likes about what we do and we do more of it. We also track everything that the student doesn't like about what we do and we do less of it. And we capitalize on every single opportunity. So out of the 100 or so classes that I've run, each class becomes better and better and better and better. All right, and I've taught CEH since version three. Good luck trying to find another instructor who's actually been doing this as long as we have uh, that are going to give you the types of results that we provide to our students and our clients. So if you're serious about taking your penetration testing skills and ethical hacking skills to the next level, what I want you to do is I want you to go to my website and I want you to go through the self-study courses and navigate under uh, the CEH Getting Started, right? So it's thecodeoflearning.com, CEH Getting Started, or Penetration Testing. This is our red team um, classes and courses, and they're designed specifically for red teams. And enter in your email address here by clicking on this yellow bar. Okay. Once you get on our email list, I'm going to send you a handful of free tools, the CEH study checklist, the mind maps, and I actually have a lot of stuff on the this autoresponder that I, I don't even cover or mention here. So it's designed to get, start giving you value as quickly as possible. So if you want these free resources, all you have to do is enter in your email address and you'll be subscribed to our email 
our email distribution list and I'll auto give you these tools for free um, and in addition I'll give you a handful of other tools that will absolutely accelerate your ethical hacking and pen testing career so we've had a lot of success with this I've my penetration testing courses have become number one in several outlets so if you're serious about becoming the best of the best you got to check out these courses, um, these specific courses that I offer and get on my distribution list. Once you get on this distribution list, you will e be emailed everything uh, automatically uh, and it will really help you take your penetration testing and ethical hacking skills to the next level. So thanks for watching. My name is Leo Dreger and I look forward to giving you these free resources by clicking on this button. Send me the three free resources on my website, thecodeoflearning.com.